Well, um, I, we also classify our S bombs as as restricted and it requires a non disclosure agreement uh, for our okay. customers to get access to it. And the main reason is it it doesn't need to be out there in in public form. These mm -hmm. most of what we produce are for critical infrastructure, so it's really a need to know, right? It's different than okay. some prosumer products, but. Those, you know, a customer is purchasing that. They're depending on that. They're running operations on that. They're making decisions of procurement. And knowing what's in there is, you know, I, I know that people don't like the food label uh, analogy, but I think it's a good point is to understand mm -hmm. what before you procurement, before you procure it, or if you're going to operate in it, do you at least need and have that information to be able to say, I, I should be uh, a bit aware of what I have in this tech stack. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it may, it's not going to give you the answer unless you, you know, the provider, this software editor, publisher, manufacturer, whichever word you want to use, provides you uh, what's called the vulnerability exploitability information for that. But let's say you did assess and see that log4j was in a component, at least you can watch it, right? Mm -hmm. You know that this product may be at risk. Now, if you don't see it in there, I've got a different diagram in there that says you still should be watching it because if you don't know and they haven't identified that, you know, as a potential item. So I think it's really important um, for those uh, who are running it, whether you're operating a car, you may not be a technical person, but if you knew that it had a certain airbag in there, you want to know, should I be more cautious or is there something that I might want to do? This is, again, that transparency. So I think that we're what we're seeing, you know, the, the roadmap to the attacker or the other pieces, um, they can get that information. Unless it's an encrypted firmware, you can reverse engineer. Right. I mean, there's right. tools to do that. You're not, you're not really hiding anything that they probably couldn't get their hands on. Um, and so what we're doing is providing that transparency so that we hope people can make educated decisions or at least have enough insight so that they know to be aware and watch out for the security advisory or something on there.